Observe the child standing from the front, from the back, and from the sides. Observe the child walking, and then instruct them to walk on their heels, and then instruct them to walk on their toes. Instruct the child to hold their hands out in front of them. Then turn your hands over and make a fist. Pinch your index finger and thumb together. Touch the tips of your fingers to your thumbs. And then squeeze the child's metacarpal phalangeal joints, checking for tenderness. And then instruct the child to put their hands together, palm to palm and then back to back. And then instruct the child to raise their arms towards the sky and look up to the ceiling. The next instruction is to put your hands behind your head. The next instruction is to try and touch your shoulder to your ear. Repeating this on the other side. The next test is for the jaw. Instruct the child to open their mouth as wide as they can and see if they can put their three fingers in their mouth. This tests the TMJ joints and also check the jaw for deviation during opening. Check for knee joint effusion using the patella tap test and the cross fluctuation test. Ask the child to actively bend and straighten their knee whilst feeling over the knee for crepitus. Once again, compare both sides. To assess the hips, passively flex the hip and knee to 90 degrees and then check internal rotation. Compare both sides. Finally, instruct the child to bend forwards, towards or to touch their toes. The forward bend test can also be used to check for scoliosis. This was an assessment video for professionals if you perform these tests as a parent or carer, please report any findings to a medical professional. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe and share it. If you're a health professional and you're interested in starting your own YouTube channel, please check out the link in the description.